Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of the Ivation Iva Ice Cream 72 Automatic Ice Cream and Yogurt Maker. So you ready? Let's get into this. Looking at the front of the box, you can see a picture of the ice cream maker. Then over here, we've got the company name. On the back, it looks like a little bit of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Well, that by itself would make him want to keep the box. And down here, you can see some of Ivation's selling points for this ice cream maker. And then on the last panel, you can see some chocolate ice cream, which looks very nice as well, as well as the specs and the contents of the box. Here you can see the specifications of the machine, including the capacity, which is two liters, and the dimensions, which can be really important if you have limited counter space. And here you can see the contents of the box, which is basically the ice cream maker, the ice cream making bowl, mixing blade, the scoop, the measuring cup, and of course the user guide. Other than that, there's nothing on the box, so let's get this thing open. Okay, opening this up. We've got our user manual, and this has all your normal information in there, specifications, basic directions on how to use it, warranty information, contact information, all that kind of crap. But who are you kidding? You're probably never gonna open this up. Hey, it looks like you get a little scraper here in the box. That's not listed on the content, so that is a bonus. Pretty cool plastic scoop. Normally you don't see these with the lever on it. I don't really see that lasting super long, but kind of neat anyway. Getting this open, here's the power cable. That's still connected though, so we'll just get that out of the way. Lift this off here. And here's our machine. Wow, wow, this actually looks pretty nice. I like the stainless steel finish. Let's get this out of the box. Ooh, it's heavy. Ooh, it's really heavy. Two days later. All right, this thing is about 25 pounds, so it took me a second to get out of the box, but Here's the machine. Let's go ahead and remove this plastic. Here you've got your twist on plastic cover that goes over the ice cream making bowl. And it even has a little door built in right here so you can put mix-ins in without having to take this off. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and pop that off. A little closer look for you with that door. See that? All right. And right here, You've got your measuring cup, and it's got multiple different measurements on this here for you as well. Here goes your plastic mixing blade. And right here, you got a removable stainless steel mixing bowl. And like I said before, this does have a two liter capacity, so plenty of ice cream will fit in this. In the bottom of the bowl here, and also down in the machine, you have metal gears. That's nice because I've seen plastic ones in the past, and they just don't last like a metal one would. Okay, let's put this thing back together, and we'll do a little test run. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in. So when you have this plugged in and it's off, you can see the power light blinking here. So this is a touch screen. Let's go ahead and turn this on. So here you'll see the time, the four different modes, and the adjustment controls here down at the bottom. Obviously, the time is self-explanatory. This first button here is for mixing only, which means it will turn the paddles, but it won't turn on the compressor. So it means there's no cooling. The only option here is to change the amount of time that it does it for like this, and then you just go ahead and start it whenever you're ready. The second button is for cooling only, which means it's gonna cool, but it's not gonna turn the paddles on, so it's the exact opposite of the other one. And again, you can adjust the amount of time that you cool for, and then you can just go ahead and start that whenever you're ready. Even though it's just called cooling mode, if it works anything like our last Ivation ice cream maker, the cooling mode is actually more like a freezing mode. So you can take your ice cream that's been processed already, which is gonna come out more like a soft serve style ice cream, leave it on cooling mode and it will harden it in the machine for you as well. Right here you have your ice cream mode. And once again, you have your timer to adjust the time. Except in this case, with this button, if you hit the ice cream mode again, it will allow you to adjust the ice cream hardness from softer to harder. So if you wanted the hardest ice cream you could make, you'd set it all the way on the harder mode Tap the button again, maybe set it for 54 minutes or whatever. And as you can see, it keeps those settings for you. And then you just go ahead and start whenever you're ready. And last mode here is yogurt mode. And that is for making yogurt, obviously. The timer on here defaults at seven hours and you can adjust that up and down a little bit, just like all the other modes. And then you would go ahead and start that whenever you're ready. In case you forget what these buttons do, there are little pictures here for everything. The yogurt looks like a little flask of yogurt. The ice cream mode is an ice cream cone. 
The cooling mode looks like a snowflake, and the mixing mode just looks like something out of Saw. By the way, if this is your first time here and you want to learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. So we'll go ahead and do a quick test on this machine just so you can see what it sounds like and to make sure this thing actually works because we haven't actually tried it yet. We're going to put it on ice cream mode, we're going to just leave it at 60 minutes, we're going to put it on medium hardness because we're not really going to be able to determine that just yet and we're going to go ahead and hit the start button okay as you can see let's go ahead and start it up it's not really all that loud it's a little bit louder than our older ivation machine but really it's not that bad at all it's going to be kind of hard for you to tell in this video but it's about as loud as your average air fryer you can see that whenever it's activated on a certain mode that particular icon turns green so that's nice and other than that everything on here is automatic over the next couple of weeks we'll be thoroughly testing this machine out and going through all the features after that we'll post a full review if you'd like a little bit more information about this machine we do have an amazon affiliate link down in the description of the video if you'd like to learn a little bit more about us, you can watch a couple more videos or you can visit us online at joesphenomenal.com. I thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your busy day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me and I can't wait to see you back again here really soon. So until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.